Yeah, right, guys, Travelling Blade it. Finally back again for another match day vlog. I think my last one was Middlesbrough away. Uh, since then, I've been gallivanting around. Uh, I did actually go to a couple of games in the last few weeks that I didn't vlog. Um, I think, which one did I go to? No, I think I went I went to Millwall away on the Tuesday night. That was a barrel of laughs. Went to the uh, Stoke at home. I think, is that the one we won? 1-2-1. Uh, I think we first time we overturned the uh, defeat. Uh, Bournemouth away, I was down in London seeing Jonathan Pye. Springtime for Hitler! Yeah, I, I, I went to a couple of games, but I um, didn't I didn't vlog them because I've um, uh, had a bit of... Um, I've been travelling, but I've been travelling over my handlebars last few weeks. I am now boldly going where no American has been before. Still on the men with that. Um, come off me at push bike and that, so... Yeah, I'm back today. I thought I'd do a vlog today. Um, I've got a couple of games coming up. I won't be at Blackburn, but I will be at Forest in midweek. But today we've got Blackpool at home. Um, the team that now has Gary Medine. Sort of a funny one because every time he's come to the lane, uh, before his uh, spell with us, we absolutely hated him. He was a pantomime villain, and he always did very well against us. He seemed to score against us every single time we played against him, from what I can remember. Um, you know, whether that being at Bolton or wherever he was at the time. Um, but he's back today, and I don't think he'll be as much as a pantomime villain. But I'm sure he'll do his best to make you know give it his best effort. And uh, he, he just he just loves scoring against us, that lad. Um, but Blackpool are doing they're doing all right. To be fair, they're three points and three places above us. It is a bit of a um, jumbled up in the championship. I think fifth to eleventh are on uh, twenty one points. Um, so I think it's quite a big incentive. The fact that we're on eighteen, we can if we if we win today, um, which is a big if because we're quite inconsistent. Um, we could get ourselves right amongst it, getting towards the playoffs eventually, trying to etch our way up the league. Last week at Barnsley, I thought I think sort of summed up the season in a way. We, um, I couldn't really watch it. I paid a tenner for this SUTV live thing. It was um, just as good as Mark Webster builds it up to be on Tufty Club. Absolutely useless. I, I, to be fair, I was on a train, so the internet was a bit choppy and changey. Um, but yeah, so I, I, I missed the first half. I, I missed most of the first half. I heard it was absolutely dire from what I could see on Twitter. Um, I think I missed our first goal. I managed to see our second goal, um, and I think I saw their first goal. So, but yeah, it was just typical. You know, we played pretty poor, and then we had a brilliant spell, and we were just absolutely rocking and rolling three 0 up. Um, and then the defence just decided to just you know have a nap and sort of fall apart a bit at the back. And we we would the next minute we conceded two goals to Barnsley. We've been having an absolute dire season, and we almost threw away a, a three goal lead in the end. So. It's sort of a good metaphor for how the season's been, really. You know, there's been good bits, there's been mediocre bits, and there's been bits that have been absolutely useless. And once again, we can't really defend, and we struggle to shut up shop, even when we're 3-0 uh, up. But hopefully today we'll be a bit more uh, tighter at the back. Uh, hopefully Moose will start, I imagine he will. I think Gibbs White is back into the fold today, if I'm not wrong with that. So it'd be good to see him back again. Um, hopefully he can put his stamp on the game. Because his last few games before the red card, he wasn't at the best at the levels he'd given in his first few performances. But we shall see. Before 3-3 as ever, I can imagine the back line being larger the same. I don't know who will play at right wing back. Um, but yeah, midfield, they'll probably just put Fleck and Norwood in there because he just always does. Um, even though, even if that's not really, I haven't got Howrahan did make much of a name for himself the week, did he? But yeah, so hopefully we can just be a bit more resolute at the back and keep Moose in the form he's in without him getting injured.
I ain't got a clue who put that in, but offside. Oh dear. Jesus, it's not over yet. Nice in my death there. Jesus. Was one of our corners, huh? I hope, I hope McBurney are uh, taking attention of Nadine today with some of the knockdowns he's been doing. Actually, using his height for the betterment of the team. He understood they're like a mangy giraffe. Again, it's a fairly dull first half for Bramall Lane. Dull might be a bit of an exaggeration, but it, it hasn't been that great, to be fair. Um, it seems like, you know, every, we have a few shots here and there, and they just seem to ricochet straight off of the Blackpool defenders' legs. They seem quite regimented. Uh, they hold the formation well. Uh, we haven't been able to break them down. They've had a few shaky bits at the back, but the chances we have had, we haven't taken. I know there was a brilliant move at one point that put in Jai through and he just fires wide. Um, plenty of crosses coming in, a lot of them from down the right, finding no one. A lot of them ended up on the other flank sometimes. Um, sometimes they're trying to play out from the back when they're marking as man for man and they're stifles at times. Um, I just hope, um, I mean, Medin's not been phenomenal, but. I think McBurney could learn a little bit about, little, you know, learn a bit from Medine about how to be, uh, you know, how to be a tall footballer and actually sort of influence the play a little bit. Um, it's largely, it's not the best. We did have the ball in the net at one point. Um, Rule out for offside. I haven't seen the replay, I didn't have a clue. It was just a cross on the line. And that's the only cross that we've, we made that was actually able to find somebody. The rest of them have been fruitless. As ever, you know, we're sort of getting around the box, we make this curve, you know, D shape around the box, and then just sort of try and have a shot from range or try and have a fruitless pass or cross into the box, and it comes to eventually nothing. They have troubles a little bit here and there, but it's still not hard time against Blackpool. There's not much more to say over the mark, really, you know what I mean? Another dull one. I wish I'd put a tenner on that. Hit and hope. 
it and out. That is all we have in our locker. Sounds like there's going to be a few boos ringing around Bramble Lane at full time here. No, we just misplaced a pass again. There's already boos echoing around. All right, full time United nil, Blackpool one. What an absolute waste of everyone's time that was. Um, once again, first half, I'm sat there at the lane, bored really, and that was the better of the halves. I, I just, I mean, it was it was I'd say it was one of the less boring halves we've had. Um, less boring first halves. We got into some all right positions. We cannoned a few shots in that just inevitably ricocheted off of um a Blackpool defender's leg. Um, once again, you've got ball that running down the right. Um, just uh, firing crosses in seemingly aimlessly, you know, that come to no fruition, whether that's due to, down to the, I mentioned it before, whether that's down to the quality of the cross or the positioning, I think it's probably a bit of both. Not much aerial prowess, you know, and, and end up going up on the other flank. Sometimes they're trying to walk it in. You've got an Njai, who's a, a nice bright spot, but a bit naive. And, you, you know, we just sort of get in there and we just sort of form this D shape around the box and then just sort of, Pass it between as it takes a while to get there because you've got a very, quite a flat and uh, uncreative midfield at the minute, it seems. Um, you had a few, I think, I don't know if it was Gibbs White or someone, played a really nice pass through to NJ who put it wide. But, you know, just sort of a bit of like quite negative midfield at, a lot of the time, you know, with just sort of sideways, backwards and that. Um, Blackpool, they were very well regimented. They kept their shape very well. And we're just trying to play it out from the back and... You can just see like Olsen looking around and there's just hardly anyone to to pass it to. And then when they receive the ball, there's like no one for like Egan or Davies to actually kick forward. The movement off the ball um, doesn't exist, quite simply. It's uh, it's shoddy. Um, it's, th th there's no there's no innovation in the team. There's no creativity. There's no I don't think there's no there's no identity. There doesn't, there doesn't seem to be a plan. I don't know what the plan is like. Um. Yeah, we've seen it in the past we've had when we've had systems that have been ingrained. Um, it, it, even when it didn't go well, you sort of knew what they were trying to do. But with this, they just seem to get the ball and then just sort of stand and go like, um, "What? What next? Do you, do you want it? Oh, oh I've, I've lost the ball." Um, you know, whereas Blackpool played with a purpose. You know, hence why they scored. You know, um, it was it was a brilliant finish, but the build up play was just. Um, did a long ball down. I don't want to be, be derogatory. Sort of a long ball down. A few shots for offside. Probably weren't. Um, you know, uh, some not that fancy footwork. Just sort of twist and turned a bit. And, you know, it was a good finish, but it was just like um, pretty, pretty um, basic build-up play. Direct football. Um, not trying to be derogatory about it. And it just cut us open because it had a bit of purpose to it. You know, someone, someone shown for the ball. You had. Um, I mean, Medin wasn't particularly phenomenal, but he would win things, and he'd lead the line, he'd nod, nod stuff on. Um, and then we, we've got McBurney coming on, who just sort of walks around um, like he's lost his mum at Meadowhall. He's got his socks down his ankles, thinking he's Jack Grealish, um, but then with all the ability of, you know, Connor Salmon. It's just... I didn't... I don't know. I think we've got a very jumbled squad. You've got people like Sharp and McGoldrick who are um, we shouldn't be relying on anymore. It was all good, you know, back in the seventeen, eight, uh, the eighteen, nineteen promotion season, but we're still having people like that. Um, admittedly, neither of those started today. I didn't think so. Um, you've you've got you've got players living off past glories. Uh, we I don't need to mention their names. We already know who they are. Then you've got that those alongside. Uh, people like Illiman and Jai, who's a, who's a bright spark, but still a bit naive. And, you know, when we're going forward, there's a few odd sparks, but the kindling's damp, and it's just nothing. Uh, there's, there's just no substance to us. I don't know what the idea is. I don't know what the plan is. Uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know if there is one. Really, really, uh, you know, just dull as dishwater today. Just really uninspiring. Uh, it's really hard to, like, identify with this team at the minute. It's just... A bunch of strangers, an absolute bunch of strangers, and they play like it. It's just, it's showing. It's showing in the performances. I think we're now 17th, 18th. You know, I'd, I'd hope that, you know, I think there are at least three teams worse than us in the league, but the fact we're having to say that is pretty poor. Yeah, there's a long way to go, but we just don't really show any genuine signs of, 
improvement. I don't know what this, you know, like some, you always hear people say, oh, trust the process, trust the process. I don't know what the process is. I don't even know, I don't even know if there is a process. But oh, just, just another job affair. We'll be going again on Tuesday. I will be there with the Donny Blades at Forest Away. It's a new ground for me. First time I've been. Thanks to Alan for sorting me out the ticket and the travel. And yeah, let's just hope that something better happens on Tuesday. I'm I'm not providing much insight because I was half asleep for most of it. So there you go. There's my insight into the game. Um, you know, I was glad to be awake for parts of it. But yeah, Tuesday we go again and we just pray that, you know, there's actually actually sort of some sort of plan and purpose to us then all right guys i've been the traveling blade and i'll see you for forest away on tuesday